There are going to be times of frustration even through the greatest victories. Hey guys, so uh, yesterday my dad and I, well, not really me, mostly my dad, um, but we hung this old window above my desk. And I like, I'm trying to still figure out what I want to decorate my desk with, but I thought it would be really cute to put those like twinkle lights um, on the window. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just going to see how this goes. Okay, update, I'm starting to run out of lights, so I might have to like redo this. It's taking way longer than I thought it was gonna be. So let's see if I can fix it a little bit. Okay, after like half an hour, shouldn't have taken that long here is the final result it is so i need to secure the little battery box on the side but that's what it looks like and that's what it is when the lights are off which i love very cool Hey guys, so it is a little bit later in the night. I am laying in bed, staring at my beautiful lighted window. I love it so much, it is awesome. Um, but this week has been pretty hard. Um, I've just been hitting a wall by like 8, 8.30, um, and I just feel like I have to go lay down. My neck has been bothering me a lot this week, and I feel like I have to perfectly rest it and not use any of my neck muscles. But yeah, 7.30, and I'm just gonna pretend like laying in here eating a chocolate lollipop is going to solve all my problems because as of right now, it is solving all my problems. So, yep, that is my night. Good morning, it is the next day. Um, I just wanted to share a moment I had just now with you guys real quick. Um, so I'm reintroducing food. I've been on a feeding tube for uh, the past two, two and a half years. That's crazy, two and a half years. Um, and it's because of stomach pain and other GI symptoms and one of my symptoms before Having my feeding tube is not ever having an appetite and truly not feeling like eating like my parents had to Force me to sit down and eat some food um, at certain times because I just Did not want to eat like I had no desire in my body to eat um, and I still don't get that hungry feeling. I think probably because I still do use my feeding tube that just doesn't leave me the opportunity to be hungry. Um, so I don't get that hungry feeling. Um, usually I'm like super excited for the next meal. I have everything planned out. I'm ready to go for the next time that I eat. I try to eat four or five times a day in small portions. Um, but it is seven o'clock in the morning. I was looking in the fridge for what to eat for breakfast and there was nothing that I wanted to eat. Um, and that's the hard thing about having only like 10 foods I can eat right now. Um, I'm gonna have repeats um, several days in a row, potentially. And even even though I have 10 foods, there are only maybe three or four or five foods that I could, would consider like enough that I could eat for breakfast. For example, cheese is one of my main foods, but I'm not just gonna eat a slice of cheese for breakfast because I'm at the point where I can eat a larger volume than a slice of cheese so that's really not enough um, for me to consider as breakfast um, so that takes cheese out that takes like just granola out like um, I'm left with kind of larger things like yogurt or a slice of bread or an avocado or like a, a fruit cup or something like that so I only have a couple of options and nothing sounded good this morning and I really just don't want to eat anything which sounds really weird for a person that hasn't really eaten food in two years um, but I know I have to I know I need the calories and I know my body will thank me for it later um, 
I don't just want to skip this meal just because there's nothing good in the fridge because there's not going to be really anything good in the fridge for several more months just because this process takes so long. So I just wanted to share with you guys if you guys were in a similar situation or whatever situation you're in, there are going to be times of frustration even through the greatest victories. Like food is amazing. I didn't know if I'd be able to eat food without pain again and I can and I'm so thankful um, but sometimes it's just not all like sunshine and rainbows when I'm preparing my food for the day. Like, it's frustrating still, and um, I can't wait to just be able to eat whatever I want painless and whatever amount that I want, um, but it's just not like that yet. So, uh, I just wanted to share that. Hopefully that encourages you guys in some way today. And in case you're wondering what I did decide on um, is a small bowl of granola. Um, I'm actually feeling a little nauseous right now, so I don't want to push anything a larger volume. So because I am nauseous, I think a little bit of granola is a good amount for my breakfast. Um, usually I would put this amount of granola in like yogurt or something, but I'm just not feeling yogurt and I'm not feeling like a large volume this morning. So this little maybe a quarter cup of granola is my breakfast this morning. So I got a package in the mail today. I have been waiting for it since last week. I know so long because it didn't come from Amazon Prime. So it took more than two days. Gosh, Amazon really spoils us. But anyways, um, I ordered some protein powder. Um, the one that my family usually uses, I've decided that I don't like and I thought it was just like all protein powder. Um, but I, my, when my brother was in town visiting, he brought his own protein powder and I tried it and it was really, really good. And protein shakes are great for an extra boost of calories. They're easy to make, quick. You can take them out with you. Um, so I decided I wanted to order some of his protein powder. And it came today. Oh my goodness. And here it is. This is five pounds. It is 70 servings. Um, it is fudge chocolate. It is so good. With some of the other protein powders I've tried, they just get really grainy and I'm, I'm very picky about textures. So I just don't like the texture of regular protein shakes. But when I tried this one, it is so, creamy and milky and it's just like so smooth by the way this is not sponsored just so you know um, so I'm so excited to try it um, my plan is to have one every day just as a regular um, set amount of calories that I know I'm going to be getting um, I mean it's only 120 calories but it's also 25 grams of protein per scoop um, so yeah that's the plan. I think I might have one right now. Mm, smell this. <sighs> smells so good. All right. Okay. Got my cup and my blender bowl. And then how many? Ew. <laughs> this says mix one scoop with four to six ounces of milk, but um, I'm not doing that because again, I don't like texture. So I'm probably gonna do like 10 or 12, we'll see. I'm just doing regular milk. And we're out. So I'm gonna do the rest with a little bit of almond coconut milk. Cause that's what's up here and I don't wanna go downstairs and get more. <laughs> Let's do 10. There we go. It's also like a really big scoop. It's crazy. Like, before I tasted this, I was like, I'm only gonna put like half a scoop in it. That's crazy. But then I mixed it up and it was like not textured at all. It was so creamy. Man, this company should really sponsor me because I'm giving them a lot of good feedback. Whoops. The lid wasn't on all the way. There we go. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I can't get the lid off. <laughs> okay. It 
It's so good. Mm. Ah, delicious. <coughs> Sitting here editing the vlog and I think I was intending to like add more stuff and make it longer and vlog like today or tomorrow or something but as I'm editing I realize that it's like a really good length and I have like a good amount of content so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um but thank you so much for watching this was just kind of like a random pile of things I just decided to record like in the moment but I think it turned out really well so I hope you guys liked it if you did please like the video and let me know if you liked it or not um maybe I'll just do more like random vlogs like this and not put as much pressure on like a vlog day um so yeah let me know if you liked it and thanks for watching and see you guys next time bye